Hey man, are you interested in seeing whether the Chaotica eyeball is worth up to 10 times more than a cheap Chinese knockoff? Of course you are. That's why you clicked on this video. What's up YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if this is your first time. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and this channel is all about bringing you some gems for the free ski baby. That's right, making you a better engineer, a better producer, a better artist, just making you an all around better person, all right? So if this is your first time around here, make sure you go ahead and click a thumbs up on this video if you like anything and hit that subscribe button so that you can, you know, be in the family, bro. Shout out to all the Wavy Seals elite gang 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 so this video today man has been a long awaited one and i can't tell you how many questions i get about the chaotica eyeball so many that i went and bought my own chaotica eyeball even though i don't really need it i'm in my crib right now for obvious reasons because the Chaotica eyeball is something that's supposed to help reduce the room noise and give you a professional controlled sound no matter where you're recording, right? It's supposed to isolate your microphone against all the environmental sound in, that you're probably hearing right now because I'm just using a little video camera mic and it ain't doing no treatment right here. I ain't got no Chaotica eyeball on my camera mic. <laughs> but... People ask me every day, is the Chaotica eyeball worth it? Does it work? How does it sound? Um, should I get one, man? Because this is an expensive piece of foam, bro. This thing cost me about $230 um, to get shipped. Because I had to pay for shipping and tax. I was like, what? You want me to pay like $25 for shipping? You know what? If it wasn't for my YouTube family, I wouldn't have done it. But I love y'all, so that's why I got this Catica eyeball today. And I'm excited to open it up and see whether it's any good or not. If it's really worth that $230 just to put a little piece of foam over your microphone. But peep this out. Before we jump into this one, I also found this cheap Chinese knockoff on eBay. It's called the Outron. This joint right here was only about $30 shipped. So for the price of shipping this, you could have this. They look similar, but Chaotica is doing some incredible marketing that might make you believe that it is better. But maybe it is. Let's see. We're going to compare and contrast the difference between the Expensive Chaotica eyeball in the cheap Chinese knockoff. We're going to see what the quality difference is in them. And we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and see whether they actually sound better. Which one sounds better, man? Because that's what ultimately matters. Now, why would you want one of these devices in the first place? Let's just talk about that. If you're in a room that's not treated or a room that's poorly treated, semi-treated, right? But you want a tighter, more controlled, more isolated vocal sound, then that's why you would want one of these things. They basically bring the acoustic treatment to the microphone instead of worrying about treating your entire room. Now, that could be a little hectic, right? So, um, yeah, man, I, I like this thing right here. I'm, I'm actually, look, let's, let's read some of what it says on the back of here. It says the PF8, so this is the Outcharm PF8. This is the $30 version. It says it's made of high quality noise reduction foam. The shape is cylinder cute and fashion. I ain't making this up. It say that it's cylinder cute and fashion. Now, I don't know what that mean, uh, but it's cute and it's fashion and it's cylinder. <laughs> Through noise reduction foam, can absorb and reflect the noise from surrounding. Okay, again, this is a cheap Chinese knockoff. They English ain't the best, all right? PFA isolates your microphone in a quiet recording space by focusing your voice to an isolated microphone. Whatever, we know what this thing is gonna do. It's gonna put some foam around your microphone, try to make it sound better so you ain't getting all these room reflections and all that stuff right there, all right? So um, let's go ahead and open up the Chaotica eyeball first because I know that's the one that y'all really wanted to know. I know everybody basically came here to see this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna compare the actual foam, the construction of the materials, I'm going to record some on this microphone in this room and let you hear what it sounds like without any treatment. Again, I'm just in my living room, man. I got baby toys in the back and stuff. I got diaper pails in here. You know, this is real life stuff going on up in here, man. Your boy Wavy don't do no fronting. So I'm sitting in the living room. I'm going to 
go ahead and, and record to this after we test these things out, right? And then we're going to see A, the control, which is not using the Chaotica eyeball or the knockoff. And then we're going to use the Chaotica eyeball. And then we're going to try out that $30 knockoff, all right? So let's just go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Got my address on one side, so I'm going to make sure that I don't. Uh, that I don't uh, show y'all, okay? So here go the Chaotica eyeball. It's a box within a box. Let me get that out of here. Hold up, I think it was something else in there. Okay, so they trying to they trying to they trying to say that this is so much better. Egg carton, blanket, phone, chaotic eyeball. <laughs> but look, I'm telling y'all, hit records have been made with the proper packing blankets and. Uh, I would not uh, uh, smurf at uh, somebody who's using packet blankets to control some room acoustics. It's a cheap and effective way if you set it up right. All right, cool. We're going to get that out of here. Here's the Catica eyeball. I got the blue one because they want to charge you even more to change the colors, bro. All right, so they got a little... <laughs> it was crazy, okay? So easy, ease of setup. The eyeball has no hardware, extremely lightweight, portable, literally sets up in seconds, okay? Record anywhere. It, were, it weighs five ounces. Recording consistencies. The variables of sound nuances within, envir within recording environments are greatly reduced, enabling you to consistently capture studio quality tracks. We're going to see about that. Collaboration. Eliminates the barriers and walls within a studio. Now the artists and the sound professionals can vibe in one space um, for a harmonious recording session. Okay, you know what I'm saying? That's not a bad um, uh, selling point. Post-production by channeling sound directly to the microphone and capturing the true tonality of the vocal, the eyeball reduces the need for excess equalization in post-production process, allowing you to focus on what you do best, create music. So let's just go ahead. That sounds like one of my lines. Let's just go ahead and open this thing up. Again, it is super lightweight. It's a piece of foam for, you know, God's sakes. Okay. Hopefully this thing will fit on my microphone. It's got a little. I think I'm supposed to take that out. But see, this all that this was this what we paying for right here. It's a pretty little pamphlet <laughs> with a, a cartoon. <laughs> okay, it got a cartoon diagram showing you, you know, basically how to use this with this funny little setup here okay we, don't, we i'm sure we can figure this out we got a pop filter here now it's strange because i see some people that be on the ground posting pictures using their chaotica eyeball and they will be using a standard pop filter and this pop filter i'm like bro i don't think you need all them pop filters but you know what let me actually see yeah see when you look at their instructions my man's ain't using no extra pop filter what y'all even doing why you got double pop filters i guess you ain't read your comic book cool so we're gonna take this little thing out and we don't need this no more. And here's the Catalyst eyeball. It's cool. Got a pop filter. Pops right in. Pops right. Pop. Pops right in. <laughs> I said that it pops right in. <laughs> All right. So take a look. Okay. Catalyst eyeball. Now, this don't fit all microphones, obviously, because it has a little hole at the bottom. So, your microphone needs to make sure that it can fit in this hole. All right. Hopefully, this mic that I chose today, this is my Shure KSM27 that I do a lot of tests on. Hopefully, it'll fit in the hole. I think that it will. I don't see why it wouldn't. Let's just test it out right now. Oh, yeah. That's going to... Uh-oh. That's going to fit perfectly. We're going to uh, snug it down. Just make sure we get that thing over the the capsule so we ain't blocking none of that capsule action all right cool let me show y'all what the mic is looking like in there all right so it's seated in i got that thing down nice it looked like it's on there but it's right on the cusp okay so man that's pretty much how i would set that up i ain't gonna set that up right now though well i ain't gonna record nothing yet because we're gonna take this off dang it's on when it's on there it's on there dang that thing is tight tighter than a you know what? Never mind. This is a family channel. <laughs> All right, cool. So this is the Chaotica eyeball. Now let's go ahead and get the 
The Outron. <laughs> I like that name better. I ain't gonna front the Outron PF8. It sounds like a a uh, pristine piece of gear. Here it is right here. Simple studio mic screen. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Let's get this opened up. Stand up a little bit so y'all can see. All right. All right, cool. Inside the box. Get rid of that box. My wife gonna come home and be like, why you got these boxes on the floor? All right, cool. So they do have instructions for the Outron, but unfortunately them joints is in Chinese. Okay, it's got English in the inside. <laughs> I was about to say, bro, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> but of course, I'm sure that we do not need any instructions for this, okay? We didn't get no stickers or none of that stuff, but it does have a two year limited warranty, okay? Check that out. I don't think the Chaotic Eyeball came with that uh, warranty, actually, to be quite honest. It's getting a little hot. Okay, so here we go. Let's open this, pop this thing on out. Same thing. And this has, this is like a little sleeve, I guess, if your microphone is too small. This give you like a little gasket. I don't really know what that's for, okay? But I'm gonna sit that to the side and I'm gonna bring this over here. Now, looking at the two, I would say they are very similar. They're slightly different textured foams, okay? This is obviously the Chaotica Eyeball, the more rounded one, the square, more square one is the Outron PF8, okay? Down at the bottom, the holes, so that's probably why they gave us that thing, because this hole, if you can see it, is a little bit bigger than that hole, okay? So hopefully, it will still give me as tight as the fit, but if not, they did include this little condom to put on there to make it a little thicker, okay? Now, I mean, it ain't really too much I can compare. This one is a little more boxy, where this one is a little more round, kind of on the inside i'm trying to compare the insides and honestly the insides of these joints are very very similar okay hopefully you can see that the way that they're designed it's a circle on the front goes to the back and then the back wall is straight it's pretty much straight down it's not concave all the way in on both of them they're about the same size too and I would say they weigh about the same. The foam on the eyeball seems to be a little bit more squishy. And I like that it's blue on the inside. That is cute, you know what I'm saying? Not that nobody gonna see that or it's gonna change the sound, but it is cute. And then this one is just black, okay, cool. We're not paying for the cuteness. We just want functionality, all right? So the, the Chaotica eyeball is definitely softer foam. This one is more rigid foam. That's all I got to say about that. They really are two very similar pieces of foam. Now let's also compare the pop filter, okay? This is where there, there is some obvious difference. This pop filter feels a little bit more flimsy than this one, okay? Now they both are double paned or double paneled, uh, right? It's got a, a screen on the back and the front, right? It's got two screens. But this one just feels a little thinner and like when I touch, when I squeeze in between this one, this one is like tight and pulled. These are pretty much just flopping on each other. They, they so close to each other there. You see, you can probably even see how this is thin. And this one is a little bit thicker. That's gonna help to uh, reduce the plosives a little bit better, I believe, on the actual Chaotica eyeball. So maybe if you are using the Outron PF8, and maybe just using your um, old standard pop filter, will work but as i'm looking at this right and i'm feeling on this pop filter that i have this outron pop filter feels a lot like the pop filter that i have right here they feel very similar all right so it's there you know i mean it's a pop filter if it's set up it's going it's stopping the air okay that will stop the air too. So they're gonna, they probably gonna both do the job. Now, the thing is, let's go ahead and put it to the test and see what's the difference in the sound, all right? So 
Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get into the computer real quick. On my computer here, you will see that I have just uh, my control track here. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I got some headphones, cool. Let's get my I.O. set up. I gotta change my playback engine, y'all, sorry. So this would be really tight. If this works and it, and it allows me to actually um, record studio quality vocals like in my living room without you know doing no treatment here, then this could be a great option for working with like Lydia or something so I don't have to go to the studio all the time even though I like being at the studio all the time. Okay. All right, that pop filter is <laughs> in place. That's good enough. All right. Record enable. Turn up some gain. Yep, 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 yep. Let's just make sure I ain't got no uh, latency happening, even though it don't really matter. Cool. And here we go. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. All right, here we go. Here, uh, Here's our test, okay? I'm going to go ahead and start recording. Uh, I got all my spotlight stuff on, so I'm gonna just record enable here, hit play. Hey yo, I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, you still can fall to the ground. As I pump my sound, so people gather around as I get on down. Let me tell you something about me. This is my rhyme and who I be, a super small body but a tough MC. So if you can't rap, just step on back. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is actually the first ever rap that I ever had. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Wavy used to be a spitter, and, you know, <laughs> now I'm a quitter. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and test the Chaotica eyeball. I'm going to stop this recording. Undo that. Let's make a new track. And we're going to call this Chaotica. Okay. Everything else is going to stay the same. I'm going to mute the control. And y'all hearing the differences right here, all right? Um, I'm going to take my Chaotica eyeball and pop it right on top of here. I'm going to move this pop filter down because I don't need it. We're just going to use uh, the pop filter that came with the eyeball. All right? I just want to make sure that thing is on there nice and tight. And it is. I'm going to take the pop filter and put it in place. Uh, man, everything on here is a little, it's tight, it's tight, it's a tight fit. Okay. Dang it! <laughs> So just so y'all see again, Chaotica Eyeball. Bring it down a little bit. We're gonna record and enable this track. I'm gonna leave everything else the same. Hey yo, I may be small, but that ain't all. If you bigger than me, then you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. Let me tell you something about me. This is my rhyme and who I be, a super small body but a tough MC. So if you can't rap, just step on back. But if you tough, then that don't be enough. <laughs> All right, I think I went a little far on that. Now, one thing that I do see is that the levels seem to increase right off the jump when I put the uh, Chaotica eyeball on there. You can look at these waveforms and see that it's actually louder. Now, I don't know if that's because I got closer or just because inside of here that it's channeling the sound more directly to the microphone capsule and it's causing a louder, cleaner signal. Hopefully it's cleaner. We don't know yet. I'll be the judge of that. Y'all be the judge of that in a minute. All right, so that's the Chaotica eyeball. Let's go ahead and switch this over to the Outtron PF8. All right, here's the PF8. I don't think I will need that extra piece because this mic is pretty big. Yep, it fits on there nice and snugly. Just wanna make sure that it's not covering up the grill or capsule in any way. Okay, push that thing down on there. Cool. You see the microphone inside the Alctron there? All right. 
bring it back. I'm gonna do the same thing. Here's the PF8 pop filter. All right, that one pops in a little bit easier. Everything on the Chaotica eyeball is a little bit tighter. You know what I'm saying? That could be a good thing or a bad thing. All right, it just is what it is. Here we go. This is Wavy Wang. About to go ahead and spit some flowers. <laughs> All right, here we go. I ain't even put my headphones on. Oops. Hey, yo, I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, then you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. Let me tell you something about me. This is my rhyme and who I be. A super small body, but a tough MC. So if you can't rap, just step on back. Uh. Bars. <laughs> I would do a mic drop, but you know what I'm saying? You probably can do a mic drop with this because it's got like a, a foam around it, so it's cool. All right, so now let's take this off. Looking at the Outron uh, to the Catalyst eyeball, I can definitely see that the Outron is a little bit louder than the control signal as well. Um, and the Catalyst eyeball is. Uh, the loudest overall, okay? So who knows what that may be contributing to. Maybe it's just me. Um, I'm gonna do one more control just to make sure that I'm being completely fair. New playlist on that. I'm gonna take this off. I'm not gonna move the mic. I'm just gonna put my pop filter up and I'm gonna start spitting. Hey, yo, I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, then you still can fall to the ground as I pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. Let me tell you something about me. This is my rhyme and who I be. A super small body, but a tough MC. So if you can't rap, just step on back. All right, cool. So my suspicions were confirmed and that the... The control is a little bit quieter, I guess, because the sound is spreading out. It's not being channeled as directly into the actual microphone capsule. So uh, this one is a little bit quieter than using the Chaotica eyeball and the Outron PF8. What we're going to do, I'm going to go back to my studio, listen on my studio monitors and see what the real deal is. Let's go. All right, family, I am back and I'm in the lab now to actually listen for myself. Now, y'all might have been listening already at home in some uh, studio monitors or whatever your setup is that's optimal for you but now i'm in my studio i got my monitor set up i really want to hear the difference in these vocals so i'm gonna play them back one by one just like we just did at the crib i'm gonna a b all three and see what the difference is and i give y'all my final opinion now keep in mind my crib is not treated at all and it's pretty much a big open space so that's a real extreme example hopefully you would be at least in something that's a little bit quieter less reverberant but let's see what the chaotica eyeball and the outtron pf8 was able to do with that type of room that we was just in hey yo i may be small but that's not all. If you bigger than me, then you still can fall to the ground. As I pump as my I sound. Uh, I need to change my options here. All right, let's do that again. Hey, yo, I may be small, but that's not all. That ain't all. If you bigger than me, then you still can fall to the ground. Pump my sound. So people gather around as I get on down. Let me tell you something about me. This is my rhyme and who I be. A super then you still can fall to the ground. As I pump my sound, so people gather around as I get on down. Let me tell you something about me. This is my rhyme and who I be. A super small body, body, but a tough MC. So if you can't rap, step on back. Hmm. Hey, yo, I may be small, but that's not all. If you bigger than me, then you still can fall. Hey, yo, I may be small, but that ain't all. If you bigger than me, then you still can fall to the ground. As I pump my sound, so people gather around as I get on down. Let me tell you something about me. Hmm. Now, to be honest, listening to the control, I can tell that the sound is being 
more directed into the capsule of the microphone when I'm using one of these devices, either the Calica Eyeball or the Alctron. Both of them are directing more sound directly to the capsule, giving it a louder, more present sound. Now, the Chaotica Eyeball does seem to be a little bit louder and is getting a little bit more of that low end frequency um, in the signal, which I like. It sounds good. The Alctron is not doing a bad job at all at removing the room noise. Um, but the plosives in there are a little bit extreme, probably because that cheaper pop filter that I was telling y'all, man. So um, I'm going to listen one more time and make sure I ain't tripping. Let me turn this up. Hey, yo, I may be small, but that's not all. If you big in me, then you still can fall to the ground. As I pump my sound, so people gather around as I get on down, tell you something about me. As I pump my sound, so people gather round as, as I get on down. Let me tell you something about me. This is my rhyme, rhyme and who I be a super small body, tough MC. So if you can't rap. All right. So in conclusion, I'm thinking that they both sound good. OK, now you might want to use an additional pop filter. I am seeing why some people have that extra pop filter up in front of the microphone in addition to uh, the one that the Catica eyeball gave you and the Alctron is giving you right because the, the plosives are getting a little bit crazy there. All right. Um, to be honest, I don't hear anything that justifies spending almost 10 times more for the Chaotica eyeball. Um, the signal is a little bit louder. There is a little bit more low end response, um, but overall they sound very similar. And I think both of them could be workable, especially considering the environment that I was in. If your room is any bit, <laughs> it just a little bit less reverberant and less, um, uh, echoing and spacious than the room that I was just testing this out in, then you'll probably have great results no matter which one of these you choose. So that's my opinion. You do what the hell you want to do. I ain't sponsored by none of these companies. You feel me? Thanks for watching this video. I really hope that this helped in, in, in allowing you to make your own decision. And, you know, this looks good. This one works too, though. Um, so, you make your decision. You let me know down in the comments. Do you have this Catica eyeball? Do you have the Alctron PF8? Which one do you like? How are they working for you? What do you wish could change about these two? Um, I don't even know what to call these. I just call them devices. About these two foam balls, all right? Um, yeah, but that's it for me today, man. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Don't forget to check out the website because we got a sale going on all month alone. So make sure you check out that website for some templates hit me up for professional mixing services as well and what's that one thing i meant to tell y'all be dope